here with another Blue Red Storm modern match for you. And like every hand without lands, this is extremely good. But unfortunately, we can't keep. This hand has infinite potential, so I'm gonna keep it. Hopefully, it's like some green white version that can't kill the Electromancer. But I found out that the Electromancer dies almost every time it hits the board. Well, it could be Soul Sisters, that would be, would be pretty bad. Now I think I have to grab a Stevens because I really need to uh, have the right kind of mana, even though it means bolting myself. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna grab the land here. Like if I would have fetched a basic island here, then it would have been pretty bad. Planes, planes, go. Uh, I think I'm just gonna run out the Electromancer. If it gets path, then it's okay. If it survives, then it's good for me. Because then I can metamorphose into something sweet. If you draw like a ritual or something, next time we can potentially go off. Three planes, no place. I have no idea whatsoever. Uh, I just, I just have to probe and see what, what's going on over here. Like, just show me w what you got. Okay, so it is some kind of mono white hate bear. I don't know. Two kitchen things. Mind sensor, ghost, tech, Sarah. Okay, so I can't fetch. Or rather, I can, but it won't do me much good. Okay, okay, let's see here. I can. I can get this one active right now. Seems good to me. Uh, gonna use this. Add double red. Gonna make sure I use. Yeah. Gonna save the red so I can use another metamorphose. And let's see. I'm gonna use this. Always yes. Uh, I'm gonna need one of each, I think. Oh, that's insane. So, if I probe, I will have active ascension. Feels pretty good. Alright, so now I'm gonna use the ritual. That doesn't make much sense. I will get a ton of red mana, but. Yeah, so I'm gonna slide of hand in the hopes of finding a Gitaxian probe or a Past in Flames. <coughs> and with two slides, that perhaps I should have serum visioned because of. The double. Now I only get to see four cards. Okay. Now I got an extra mana to work with. Gonna grab a statement here. So that solved a lot of my problems. I guess he just grew tired of waiting. Empty the Warrens feels like a pretty good card to have here. And something that's not a land. Sweet. So I can Periodic Ritual to gain 6 
Yes, I would like to use stability. Three, six. Okay, so what do we have in our graveyard? Uh, six, seven, and this costs three, so we will have four left. So we can play the Serum Visions first. Yes, I would like to use stability. What's the storm count on? Nine. Yeah, I think the grape shot will be pretty good. Do we have enough mana to use that as well? Uh, don't need that. Don't need that either. If I use this, we go to five. This one costs three. Yeah, we do. So I'm actually, yeah. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's some kind of hate bear variant. So blood moons are useless. The fence grids are pretty bad. I could see empty warrants being good. Could see lightning bolts being good. I don't think shadow storm is that great. I don't think torpor orb is that great either. Uh, I mean, I gotta expect them to have, I don't know, rest in peace, and a uh, sworn canonist and Orthalia. So I like to cut one past in flame, and I can see myself cutting one grape shot, and the looting isn't super good. I like the electromancers here because they like the only way they have to kill them is path and that even though it doesn't really serve the same purpose it's at least pretty good. I mean it gives me one extra mana instead of one less for every but at, at least that's something and it can't attack or other the land I fetch can't attack. But now I guess like a turn to rest in peace would be pretty bad. But then I think we can win with the empty warrants. Like ritual ritual manamorphose bolt warrants for ten. Could be good enough. And we still have two grape shots. I mean, this can be dead if they play a rest in peace. That would be pretty awkward. <laughs> like this hand leans pretty heavily on this. But I think we gotta keep this hand. If they have a turn to rest in peace at least we won't be using this rather just uh, skip our turn. Alright. So we're gonna fetch again for a steel lens. And play a slide of hand for another land. Hopefully. Too bad, but I need a land. Wouldn't have been too sad about that uh, uh, past in flames. So now, next turn, if we draw like another ritual, we can go ritual, ritual, probe, empty the warrants. Yeah, like there's the rest in peace. Not too surprising that. I kind of expected that. Okay, so... Two, three... So I think we're gonna slide for as many rituals as we can. That was a pretty big fail. And I'm gonna keep the probe for now. And I guess I will play my 
Stevens here. It's very unlikely I will run out of basics to fetch. Uh, of course, now I, it's not sh that likely I can fetch, but. Okay, so now comes like, yeah, and it destroys this. It's pretty bad. No. And a tickage. Alright, so we can go ritual, ritual, probe. Actually, let's start out with a probe. Let's see what you got. Flicker Wisp planes. Okay. So, ritual, ritual, war, empty the wars. I think that's the best I can do. I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough, but at least it gives him something to do. And our grape shot can actually kill his flicker wisp. There's another ritual. Yeah, so I'm just gonna attack here with everything. If he wants to like oh I should have played my land first, that's pretty bad. He's going to oh, okay, he's going to flicker one of my tokens. Yeah, that's okay. I was thinking I should have played my fetch land because when he flickered this he drew something else. Mind sensor. <coughs> yeah, so now I will be able to kill off his whole team. That's pretty good. So he's gonna sacrifice that. Interesting. So now we will go ritual. No, wait. What's the storm count at? He has already played one spell, right? He has played the flicker wisp from the vial and the mind sensor. Okay, so we have storm count at one. So we can play like grape shot for two, saving the ritual for another time. So we're gonna change that to the flicker wisp. Seems pretty good to me, and I'm gonna fetch right now. And now I'm not gonna play more lands because that activates his tectonic edge. Yeah, so we only have five goblins left, and he can top deck something big, and that will be bad, but that's pretty sweet. Another grape shot. Yeah, so I think I. I'm just gonna keep everything in hand. I'm actually gonna play my scrolling turn if he wants to wants to mess with that, it's okay. <coughs> okay, so he probably drew something. So we have uh, two, three. We don't have, we don't quite have lethal, but almost. That's a pretty good top deck, to say the least. But we can actually kill that if we want. Spell count as what is at one. Two, three, so I can do it for four. Killing this, put him into five, that doesn't seem pretty good. I think I'm just gonna ritual ascension grape shot his face. Whoops. 
scrapes of your face. <laughs> because I don't know what he can have that can kill all my goblin tokens, but now any one creature he draws isn't enough. So he needs to do something else. <laughs> yeah, sweet. That's how we do it. On to game three. <laughs> 